Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your finance and career reading for the month of January 2024. Whatever you do, whatever you don't, let's see what we have for you. Either you have a job, either you don't, either you have a career. If you are really need answers and you come across to this video by the title or just feel there is a message for you, keep watching and know this is very, very much a message in for you. Let's see, loves, whatever you are doing. Also, this is not a reading about love or anything interfering love. This could be about a job, could be about your career, could be about whatever you are studying. And for others of you, might be you don't have a job. Everyone has a reason why they don't. Either they been fired or lost it or just quit because situation happens very much or just you are studying something. The opportunities and messages are endless out there, loves. So let's not be judging. For some of you, it might really look like a personal reading in the career-wise. Sometimes it might not make much sense. Underneath, we have Page of Wands, Seven of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and five of pentacles and seven of pentacles and the knight of wands all right loves there's something here really speaks of commitment whatever here you are commit whatever here you want to do needs consistency commitment because I'm seeing here a situation that can go to the distance can improve actually could bring you great great finances but if will not be you know commitment there or will be here and there it's it's kind of like will take a lot of more time it's kind of like it depends on you how dedicated you are for whatever you want to do or how you are this might might be an Aries who work for themselves or is not something that you do in the daily time. Could be even something here you are passionate. So if you have some kind of passion out there or a hobby that you want to transform into more, Spirit says, if you think that it's a quick earn, don't. Change your way of what, how you look towards it. Because I see here it's an, a great and I. It's a great idea, but doesn't feel here that will take you quick there. Because I feel here many of you with this Seven of Swords is like, well, I'll put just a little and will come quick. Actually, Seven of Pentacles. These are very different energies. So whatever here is, the idea, it's great. But the, the way it's put in there or the way you invest in it, gotta be kind of the attitude or the idea differently for some of you be careful who you are sharing your ideas it's very very important because somebody might steal your idea okay and yes people are these days do that because some of you might feel well who is that person who does this you'll be quite surprised how many they are let's see loves eight of wands King of Swords, Five of Cups, and Three of Cups. Again, Spirit says this could be a great idea if you are putting a plan out there in a great way. Or you are planning ahead and kind of like, you know, accordingly. Because King of Swords really also speaks that if you have a vision and you are clear about it, go with it. But again, I'm having here a little warning for some of you who 
who might share the ideas with others and might be stolen that idea. Whatever you want to do, we have two sevens, two fives, which really speaks here. If you are going and move towards it, if you are trying to do it, be careful because somebody here might feel like will help you, but they actually will not. It's, it seems here that you are better doing yourself or on your own than you're doing with someone because I don't feel here someone here looks like a friend to you. It's more like a thief to you, okay? And again, for some of you, something here might get up the ground beautiful and for some of you might get up the ground then taken. So again, look for whoever you are, want a partner out there or not. Five of Cups here speaking, the Empress. Yes, because I feel here you come with this idea and might not go to the distance, okay? Because the idea of this is yours, but might interfere someone else in here and your ideas may not be at the end the way it needs to. And, you know, might feel like there's a lot of competition and so on and so. But again, we have fives. Five speaks about movement. The, the five of pentacles, five of wands, and five of cups. The five of swords is missing. Five of swords speaks about somebody here selfish or feel like selfish or for the selfish reasons will come in here. So honesty go to the wrong the, the long run as well, the dedication. There's some something here that Spirit says do it on your own. Nobody is your friend in business or whatever you try to do. But again this idea, this project, this situation has a lot of potential, a lot. The Three of Cups, it's kind of if you have a clear plan. Three of uh, Cups, clarified by Two of Swords. Someone here, again, might not be at the same page with you, and that's why. Again, also for some of you, might not see this person in this way or whoever you try to do something you you might feel that they are actually genuine to you or they actually want to put in effort as you are uh -uh. one more card lovers again don't do partnership with this person or be very careful how you partner whatever whatever legal matter it's there or whatever, it's kind of how you get into this partnership. Because someone here actually will work, the other one will watch. Okay? Why, for some of you, definitely here you are very creative or very much into your creativity. Also, I'm feeling here, for those of you who choose to do on your own, this if you again put dedication put effort being consistent it's like this this idea will go forward and will be very greatly abundant it's kind of like you could partner later on with someone but more likely that partnership gotta be on your own terms like from like, for example, from the beginning, someone might say, oh, you know, that's a great idea. Let me partner with you. That's not going to work. So if you have this in mind, think accordingly, loves. What's the five of pentacles? Also, someone here might say, I will invest. And actually, they not. They are more like taking it. Five of Pentacles, we have the Emperor here. It's more likely you might get disappointed at the end, okay?
yeah look at here knight of cups you really will love to do whatever is here and you will want to do more because I feel here for some of you you'll put more than is necessary yeah dedication is the key in here and solo not the partnership okay what else we have for Aries for this month of January four of wands ten of wands and temperance for some of you it might be a very busy month whatever you do busy doesn't mean necessary productive okay but for many many of you you will find yourself in a very very busy go after very back and forth spirit says find some times to rest or to rejuvenate okay loves for some of you yes save some money or don't spend over too much money because there's some unexpected expenses out there and you know it's better to to be okay where you are than not what else for the Aries moon four of cups and death Certain changes will be necessary for you, especially, you know, these changes are for the things you don't need any longer. There's something here about clutter. For example, you, you have a purse, keep that purse, don't buy another one. It's like uh, keep your expenses to to a good standing, but as well, there's certain unusual you know purges that might happen. For some of you, yes, the money come, but the money can go as well. So that's why Spirit says don't don't purchase unnecessary stuff or stuff that you are not really gonna use. This is something here about being um, being with the essential or keep the essentials. Don't splurge or don't spend more than you could have. Even though, again, the money might come. But again, as I said here, you might have some unexpected expenses. For example, certain things in your house might, might need to change, you know. It happens. The electricity is go off or some light bulbs or your oven, something is squeaking and something here needs to be repaired. So certain unexpected expenses might happen. So keep in mind that. Advice for you, darlings. What we have for our Aries. Advice, we have a two of pentacles. We have the tower we have the high priestess and the nine of swords this month for many many of you is to not worry too much for certain things that needs to go for example if you need to let go someone or if you have a business where you have something and you need to let them know that our partnership is ending or I'm not gonna continue this spirit says don't doubt whatever doubt you feel like if you want to keep someone for example you have a business or something because I definitely see here someone does something on their own don't wait till you are losing it all or don't wait maybe maybe something here will improve when the improvement happens then things will start in a different way but there's something here that is kind of do not wait certain things here needs to be done when they need to be done not later there's something here about don't delay certain things you need to do that's for your own good okay because something here it's about to to go to the distance but 
in a whole different other way than you expected or even wanting it. All right, loves. Aries, that's what I have for you for this month, finance and career-wise. I hope this really helped you to navigate through. If this really speaks to you in a way or in another, let us know as well. Blessings, darlings. Bye for now.